So on the complete other side of it, you have an RFID chip yeah. implanted in you. Yeah. So I hear. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So this little, is a little passive, subtle thing. It's a passive device that you use for unlocking like a, a safe with top secrets or what, what is it, what do you use it for? What's the story behind it? I'm not the first one. There's, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's this whole community of weirdo biohackers that uh, have done this stuff. And I think one of the early use cases was storing, you know, private crypto wallet keys and, nice. and whatever. Um, I dabbled in that a bit and, and had some fun with it. Um, do you but, have some Bitcoin implanted in your body somewhere you can't tell where, yeah. Yeah, actually, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, it was, you know, the modern day equivalent of finding change in the sofa cushions. <laughs> After I, I put some orphan crypto on there that I thought was worthless and forgot about it for a few years, went back and found that some community of people loved it mm -hmm. uh, and had propped up the value of it. And so it had gone up 50 fold. Wow. So there was a lot of change in those cushions. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But the the primary use case is mostly as a as a tech demonstrator. You know, it it has my business card on it. You can scan that in uh, by touching it to your phone. Uh, it opens the front door to my house. You know, whatever simple stuff. It's a cool step. It's a cool leap to implant something in your body. I mean, it has perhaps that's it's a similar leap to a Neuralink because for a lot of people, that kind of notion of putting something inside your body, something electronic inside a biological system is a big leap. Yeah, we have a kind of a mysticism around the barrier of our skin. We're completely fine with knee replacements, hip replacements, you know, uh, dental implants. Um, but, uh, you know, there's a mysticism still around the inviolable barrier that the skull represents. And I think that needs to be treated like any other uh, pragmatic barrier. You know, it's the question isn't how, how incredible is it to open the skull? The question is, you know, what benefit can we provide? 